नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस कोलैब वी विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट डिसीजन ट्री इन क्लासिफिकेशन सेटअप विथ आईरीज डेटा सेट लेट्स फर्स्ट इम्पोर्ट सम ऑफ द यूजफुल लाइब्रेरीज लाइक पैंडाज एंड नम पाय एंड मैट प्लॉट लेब डॉट पाय प्लॉट फॉर प्लॉटिंग सर्टन फिगर्स देन सिंस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज डिसीजन ट्रीज we import trees from sklearn and decision tree classifier from sklearn.tree module as well as export underscore text then there are some other usual libraries like train test split grid search cv classification report confusion matrix confusion matrix display pipeline min max scalar are also loaded since we are going to use iris data set we have load_iris api imported from sklearn.dataset module so the first step let us load iris data set with load_iris api so load_iris takes two argument one is return_x_y we have set that flag to true and as frame flag also to true so what happens is because of this flag we get the data in form of a feature matrix and label vector and since we have set as underscore frame equal to true we get this data in form of a data frame as a next step we split this data into train and test so for that we set aside 20% example for test and we use train underscore test underscore split api for this particular splitting so we get training and test feature matrix as well as training and test label vectors as a next step we define the decision tree classifier as part of the pipeline and in pipeline there are two stages the first stage is feature scaling for that we use min max scalar and in the second stage is decision tree classifier so we instantiate a decision tree classifier with max step equal to 3 and then we train the classifier by calling the fit function on the pipeline object by supplying the training feature matrix and label vector so after this step the classifier is trained and we will evaluate it on the test set with confusion matrix and classification report so we use confusion matrix display api and we call from underscore estimator method on this api we supply the name of the estimator the test feature matrix and label vectors and it prints the confusion matrix or rather displays the confusion matrix in a colorful format so we have two labels on the y axis and predicted labels on the x axis and you can see that it has managed to predict all the labels correctly there are there are zeros in all of diagonal entries which means there is no misclassification whatsoever that is happening for any of the classes let us look at the classification report and in classification report you can see that the precision and recall is one for each of the class on the test set so since we are using decision trees we can visualize the decision tree and understand how the classifier has worked so because the tree visualization needs the names of the classes which we do not get because we loaded our data in form data frame here we again call load underscore iris and store the data in form of a bunch object now what we do here is for plotting the tree we call plot underscore tree method on on the tree object and here we specify the name of the decision tree estimator or rather the object of the decision tree estimator 
we specify the feature names as well as class names. And here you can see the decision tree. The top level node is based on the feature called petal length which is in centimeters and if petal length is less than 0.254 then it classifies it as a class setosa. And then it basically on the on the right hand side we again check on the petal length then here in on petal width and here again on petal width so on the third level we are checking things on petal width to decide the split in the decision tree and you can see that the the leaf nodes so we are specifying we are rather predicting class setosa on this leaf node there is a class versicolor here there is class virginica here and there is versicolor and virginica over here so you can we have also printed Gini index as well as number of samples in the training set and we also get to see the split by by the classes so here you can see that Gini index is 0 and here all examples belong to setosa here versicolor is in majority which is printed over here and then we get pretty much most of the examples from versicolor and here all of the examples are from versicolor so what decision tree does is it keeps on refining the regions such that there is no impurity in any of the regions we can convert this tree representation into if else rule set for that we use export underscore test method by supplying the the tree estimator and the uh, and the list of feature names and here we see if else rules so we have based on petal length we are specifying the class 0 we are deciding the class 0 if this is not true then we go for another check on petal length and so on so this this is basically the rule set that we can use to classify the iris flowers and is this rule set is learned from the decision tree classifier or decision tree estimator let us get the feature importance from the trained model so we can get the feature importance by calling feature underscore importance underscore member variable of the decision tree estimator and here we have printed the importance in its descending in its descending order so petal length is the most important feature it has got score of 0.935 followed by petal width sepal length and sepal width have uh, important score of 0 so they are they are not that important in this particular decision tree classifier that we have trained now there are two configurable parameters in the tree classifier one is max depth and second is mean underscore samples underscore split so max depth defines the the maximum depth of the tree and minimum sample split decides how much sample should be there when we are trying to split the node so here we define the hyperparameter grid on max depth and mean sample split so for max depth we want to try values like 1 2 3 4 and 5 for mean sample split we want to try values like 2 4 6 8 and 10 we use grid search cv for hyperparameter tuning we use the pipeline object we specify the the hyperparameter grid and we use f1 macro as a scoring function we call the fit method on grid search cv object to launch this hyperparameter search and after hyperparameter search is complete we get best parameters and grid values so we found the best parameters with max depth equal to 4 and mean sample split equal to 2 so after performing the grid search cv we get the best estimator and for that particular best estimator we evaluate it 
by calculating the confusion matrix on the test set and you can see that we have obtained a perfect confusion matrix with with zero entries in each of the op diagonal cells so in this video we demonstrate the utility of decision trees in multi class classification we used iris dataset which has got three classes and we showed that decision tree can produce almost perfect iris classification